Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we are going to do volume 2 of the Unizon Air Matsuri Gacha. We have the second part of the current event and that covers all members to uh, show up in this gacha. Um, so as we did on the last video, let's quickly take a look at the key cards <clears throat> that may be worth uh, chasing after if that uh, tickles your fancy here. So we'll start with Sakura Zaka's side. Uh, first, we've got Morita Hikaru in purple. She is a 3.49% skill bonus with a VO85 leader skill. Um, you know, like I've said um, recently, you, if you've been playing this for a while, you probably have a decent amount of cards with a spiked stats in certain uh, properties. At this time, uh, if you have something in purple and Hikaru uh, will be able to shine with those vocal types. Um, and with a strong 3.49% uh, skill bonus, this could add up such that a VO85 team could be your best type of team. So definitely check it out to see if that makes a big dent in your current setup. We also have a really strong card with uh, Masumoto Kira here. This is a 3.68% score bonus along with that skill 2.25 times activation. This is basically the equivalent of Mana Fee from Volume 1 that we saw. Um, Again, you tend to not uh, really excel with these cards with, um, you know, having no stat bonuses as part of your leader skill. But it might be something interesting to play around with, especially if you have some of those uh, cards who have high percentage, uh, you know, activation chances. Increasing that by 2.25 obviously gives it a much higher expected value to activate within a run. Uh, and here is going to be a unique card in the world of Unizon Air. This is Takemoto Yui with the all 40% up green card, right? Thus far, we've only seen them in the yellow, I believe. Um, actually, there could be another one that I might have missed from Sakura Zaka's side, but <clears throat> it's definitely, <coughs> sorry, it's definitely a little bit unique here. And uh, there are decent amount of strong green cards. So if you have a party that could take advantage of this, uh, this might be a big get for you. 2.46% uh, is a skill bonus, so it's right in the middle, but it's certainly uh, accounted for with that all 40% leader skill. And then just some small, um, you know, possibly useful cards here. Obviously, Fleek bonuses. Uh, this is an exact replica of, not exact replica, but uh, equivalent of Manamo's card in Volume 1 from Hinata Zakasai. Uh, it is also the same red color, so. Uh, if you want to take advantage of the Fleek bonus chance, uh, this is a fun card to play around with. Um, and then um, just some small stuff here. Koike, that's a bad combo bonus of 0.67%, so nothing really interesting to talk about. And then we wrap it up with Inoue, Uemura, Yamasaki Ten. Um, Seki has a very low score bonus here. This is a 1.63. And wrapping it up with Rena here with just a life support card. And then if we switch over to Hinatazaka's side, uh, we get to see the useful cards in this gacha. And there we go. And Kato Shiho has the strong uh, combo here. It is a score bonus of 3.40% along with a DP 50% leader skill. Definitely a strong combo. Could make a difference in your existing team parties if you have the right cards. And of course, high uh, uh, affinity bonuses help. And of course, when the uh, uh, inevitable pair card, you know, precious pair card comes, that probably will have a strong, uh, you know, setting for those teams. Uh, other good cards that you want to watch out for is, of course, Mei Mei here, 3.68% leaders, or sorry, skill bonus, as well as a dance 85% leader card. Basically everything I said about Morita with purple and vocal applies to Mei Mei here with red and dance stats. So definitely keep an eye out if that makes a difference in your existing parties. Um, other notable cards here is we've got Paru with a 2.32% bonus. Um, we've got Morimoto Mari with a 2.52% bonus. Um, and then I think everything else is just small pickings here. Kawada here does have the Shiagari 50% if you have a full blue team uh, to help get your uh, you know unlocking path done faster. And then we'll wrap up with Mikuni, Osushi, 
Kyonko here who unfortunately doesn't have anything very useful which about time so really no reason for me to chase this gacha and we've got Kage to wrap it up and Aya does have a small bonus of 1.63% but nothing really uh, interesting to talk about you know kind of like uh, what? Kobayashi Yui Pom Pom that we got that I got last time so um, that's it for the gacha now as you can see I do have tickets available so from Sakurazaka side I am just going to finish off the Uemura tickets that I had picked up from the spotlight uh, live and we will just use that up uh, on Sakurazaka side and probably that's it for for there um, it's it's not surprising that based on my uh, you know mm. configuration of uh, affinity and such that really no Sakura members will make a difference but for Hinata Zaka side, uh, you know, even competing in SS against SSR pluses, uh, both uh, Meimei and uh, Kosakana from Volume One does potentially make a difference. So um, that's a, a nice opportunity to chase, but again, no real reason to go too crazy right now, um, especially since you know there's going to be some special gotchas that coincide with the uh, WKK Fest, uh, which is going to be coming up very soon. Um, all right, so let's start with the tickets. Um, you will just do the first. We'll first do some Kyonko tickets, and then we'll actually use the Uni Air tickets that we saved uh, from the last uh, on air event and see if we can't get some love that way. Um, and I, I don't know. One downer I will say is that the background music is just so, so chill and you know. Whoa! Wow. And that is quite a surprise. Let's see if it's actually a Matsuri card. It is. Wow. Wow. And of course, Mei Mei getting a photo book announcement, which is really awesome to see. Definitely something I was not expecting because, you know, back in the Ghana Oshi days, she, she did say like she didn't want to do a uh, photo book but okay well that is awesome getting a free Mei Mei out of this let's see if we can get some more with the tickets here we'll go 10 ticket pulls and of course Kyonko is going to be the rate up for me as well uh, that is far by far the most important part of the gachas here even though she doesn't have any uh, score bonus attached to her wow all right, that is two free, three free cards. Ah, okay, so an old Otake card. And I think the next one? Okay, the one after. Ooh, Osushi, nice get, nice get. That's two event cards with the tickets. That is pretty darn awesome. All right, I have uh, locked and loaded for another set of uh, three plus one. Uh, whether I go more beyond that, I honestly don't know. Um, I mean, I might pull some more as I rack up some more gems throughout the event, but um, you know, like I said, Kyonko's card isn't very strong and um, there are some interesting gotchas that I'm sure will pop up to celebrate uh, the Kiaki Fest. And since it's four days, I don't know if we're gonna have four, you know, gotchas that we have to worry about. Um, but anyways, let's see, first temple. Hmm, not, not the best result. You know, would love to see more rainbow cards to, oh, upgrade to gold. Number four is another gold upgrade. Five, no, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that is a Bakshi. Oh yeah, and of course that does remind me we do see Meepon. She does not have a event card this time, unfortunately. She did say on uh, the message app that she, for scheduling reasons she couldn't make the shoot, so. Um, she actually does not have a card, which is unfortunate. Very unfortunate to see. Um, 
All right, and this next one is, mm, again, kind of not 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 good results with the actual gotcha here. Tickets were strong, but they're uh, averaging me out to the mean here. Mm, yeah, that's. Hmm. Okay. Well. As you know, we will get a free temple after this one. Every three temples you do, you get one for free to celebrate. And there we go. That's the kind of load we want to see. Now, of course, got to always keep your expectations in check because it could just be... Oh, polka. Nice. Could just be a video load in here, which I think we will see. Muddy. Nice. All right, so we get Morimoto Mari, hopefully uh, a Matsuri card along with it. All right, we're going to have to wait for an upgrade here somewhere, at least one. Yeah! Now that's weird. I really thought that the load would be bigger for a signed thing, but that's two signed cards. That is awesome. Um, all right, so we'll see if we get any more beyond that, but ooh. Ah, miho. And yep, okay, that's it. So we get a signed Madi card. That's gonna be nice to get uh, For sure. I mean obviously any chance to give the uh, third gen uh, members a push um, Is always good and you know, it's, it's a decent decent skill bonus card. So all right, here we go. Um, ooh, that's good. We get to see a bike outside. See a monitor. That's even better. No monitor, but I think we are going to see somebody come in. Katoshi's card is really strong. If this is a if this is a Matsuri card, I would be super happy. All right, hope for the best here. Hope for the best. All right, one and that, yeah, all right. Let's see if we can get more than that. Hopefully not an old card. It's always a possibility, no guarantee it's an event card. Yes! There we go, Just hitting it, hitting the big cards. All right, we got Ozeki in the first volume and getting Katoshi in the second. That's really awesome results. There we go. There we go. Uh, do I want to do? Okay, I do have enough for one more. So you know what? Let's just do that. And this will be the last pull of the day. Um, obviously, I still want Kyonko's card, even if it's not the strongest. But um, I am certainly not going to hit the ceiling. Uh, this one, nobody is probably coming in. Right, and of course, you know, I say it all the time, you can always look at the plant on the left. If for Hinatazaka's side, it just completely misses the handle, then uh, you are not going to get somebody. But on Sakurazaka's side, if you see the plant splitting the handle into three sections, uh, that's the sign that nobody is coming. Uh, and uh, of course, if you are lucky enough to get Kosakana's cut in, uh, that plant doesn't even exist. <laughs> so uh, do you keep your eyes out for that. All right, but this looks like it's going to be another bust. Yeah, so not the best way to end uh, the gacha. Um, and also, uh, do not forget that you can get a, a, a beautiful scene card here, but unfortunately, the scene card's abilities is pretty bad since it only applies to cards of this gacha, and there is no situation in which you would ever make a full team utilizing that scene card. So unless you... Actually, there's really zero reason to buy this uh, front uh, scene. So, uh, you know, you are probably better off uh, keeping it until the end. Or if you just really aren't going to exchange your tickets uh, for anything, like you don't need any coins or, um, uh, you know, experience uh, blue gems, then there's no reason to go for that. 
Anyways, uh, really solid results here, I think, for uh, Hina Tazaka's gacha. We get uh, Mei Mei there, uh, followed by Osushi, and then uh, a Morimoto Mari, followed by the, uh, which is signed, by the way, very nice, and the ever coveted uh, Katoshi card here, uh, which is quite quite strong. Um, I actually, last time I, you know, I quickly looked at my Excel sheet. Uh, for the uh, card uh, distributions here, and I don't think that Mimi or not Mimi uh, Katoshi was in my top tier of uh, you know cards that would be helpful, uh, but you know that could have been just an oversight. I'm loading up right now, and yeah, it doesn't look like she's. Yeah, she's just missing it out from my uh, DP party configuration. But what is important is Mei Mei's card, right? That 3.68 with the DA 85%. She is, of course, the top tier card for that, um, which Kyonko tends to, you know, uh, reign across my red team. But she also comes in in the fifth slot for the VD and the DP teams, um, which, again, is impressive because this is not an SSR plus card. There's almost 1,000 points worth of stats that is reduced from... Know, the bonus that they get get and so um, you know coming coming in at a solid 3.68 percent with pretty high you know a pronged da dance stat uh, does make it uh, very encouraging that she makes a difference in my team so then it really does make a question do I chase after Kyonko for Kyonko or do I try for the uh, volume one to try to go for Kosakana who does make a difference on my blue teams but that's a me thing, nothing for you to worry about. Uh, but regardless, uh, if you did make some gacha pulls, let me know how it went. I uh, would love to see how your results went compared to mine. And meanwhile, we will try to uh, max out these cards. So how much is it in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what, 180 percent, I think will be my topped out uh, event bonus. Not not the greatest, you know, The obviously the mega whales who are going to be competing for the top mm. tier are going to be on an insane level since it is both combining Hinata Zaka and Sakura Zaka gotchas to maximize your bonus. And I am suffering from stats, you know, I've, I got some replenished thanks to purchasing the, the uh, gem packs there. But, you know, even with the gem packs, you can see that my red, green, and purple flowers are just about to die out in terms of count. So, anyways, that's it for me today. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the like, subscribe, and comment below. Otherwise, I will see you next time here at, on my channel. Do appreciate your viewage. Until next time, bye bye. Mm -hmm.